All right, in this example, uh, we are going to find the volume of a torus uh, using Pappas' centroid theorem. So to do this, okay, we have the graph of the circle, okay, which is given as x minus 6 squared plus y squared equals to 4. So basically that is a circle that's shifted out 6 units to the left, I'm sorry, 6 units to the right of the y-axis. So when you take that region and rotate around, y, y, around the y-axis, it will generate a figure called the torus. And that is, um, you can see the image of that to the right, and you can up in here, up in this right-hand corner. Um, it's kind of like a donut shape. And actually, this was created using maple. And I can send that if you're interested in that, um, how to create this. I can send the, I can send you, send you the maple code. Okay. But the, but in this problem, we want to find the volume. Okay. So normally in the past, we've done this using shell method, uh, and using we can do this using the washer method. Okay. Um, but in this case, we can. In this case, we want to use the theorem of Pappas, which is really a nice theorem um, because it's a lot easier to do. So, remember, recall that the volume of a torus is two pi times r times a. R is again r is the the radius, okay, of the vo of the volume, and then a is the area of that region. So in this case, okay, the centroid for this circle that we're given is actually right here, okay, at, it's at 6, 0, okay. So that means the radius for this volume is going to be 6, okay. So now we need to figure out the area of this circle, and we already know how to do that. So the area, okay, the area for this is just pi r squared, okay, and the circle, the radius of the circle is is going to be two because we that's part of the equation, right? We have here x minus six squared plus y squared equals to four, so that tells you the radius of the circle is going to be two. So I'm just going to draw that in. Okay, so the radius is 2. So now using that, we can find the area of this circle. So that's going to give you pi times 2 squared, and that's going to leave you with 4 pi. Okay, so we have everything now. We have all the ingredients to figure out the volume of this, of, of this torus. So it's going to be 2 times pi times the the radius of the volume that's gener that's being generated is 6 times the area of the circle. And so that's going to give us, so 2 times 6 times 4. So that's going to be 48 pi squared. And recall, if this was an application, this would be some units cubed. 